slap on that recording button. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back, Alexander and Codex. It's, uh, it's still, oh god, Saturday, April 25th, is that right? Yeah, it's still recording. I added uh, a mod, oh my god, might as well give credit where credit's due, right? Uh, wee boo 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 Browse, subscribe to items. I added on Hematep's dynamic difficulty. Uh, the way this mod works is, and God, God bless you, Hematep, for actually documenting how it works rather than just saying, it works! So how it works, except in the cooldown period after difficulty changes, which is 18 months after an increase, 6 months after a decrease, the mod will analyze the game state every month. It will look for an AI empire that can be considered to be a worthy opponent to the strongest player, i.e. me, because I'm the only player. This challenger needs to fulfill one of the following criteria. The challenger is at least equivalent in overall comparison and equivalent in technology. No one meets that. The challenger is at least equivalent in overall comparison and overwhelming in fleet power. No one has that. Challenger is at least superior in fleet power and equivalent technology. No one has that. Challenger is at least superior in overall comparison. No. If a challenger has been found, nothing happens. If there is no such AI empire, then the difficulty is going to be increased by one stage. However, if there's a Goliath, an AI empire that fulfills the following criteria, a Goliath is an overwhelming in overall comparison and at least inferior in technology, then the difficulty will be lowered. So inferior and not pathetic. God, that'd be that'd be a weird situation to run into. You can install and uninstall at any time. It leaves some modifiers behind that the player never sees and nothing after you remove it. It checks your checksums and no achievements, yada yada yada. Fallen empires, crises, and other anormal empires are not considered for the buffs to trigger, but they still get stronger. Beware if you want to conquer the galaxy before endgame, da 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 da. So, um, yeah, yeah. I'm very interested to give this a shot and see how this spices things up. I ran a little bit of a test earlier, hence these autosaves. Nothing broke. Well, nothing apparently broke. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop back in here. I'm hopeful. It was this or a static difficulty mod, and the static difficulty mod let you change the difficulty at any given time, but I wanted some kind of underlying logic so I didn't have to <laughs> manually control the difficulty. So I'm... I got my fingers crossed for this one. I had also thought about adding on dynamic political events, which is a really fascinating mod. But in their uh, compatible mod section, they say, We have no idea if this works for Star Trek New Horizons. Uh, so rather than potentially brick a save or have to load this back, I'm just gonna hold off on that for now. I might try to introduce it later. Oh, and these these lines, these are new. Uh, God, this is a very simple UI mod that just adds these core inner systems, outer rim. Inner rim? Is this inner rim? Yeah, whatever. It just adds these lines to help break things up visually, give some sort of some point of preference, preference, reference when I'm talking about a uh, certain area or a certain group or something like that yeah 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 so I'm I'm I love this mod I like having it on all the time I just forgot to turn it on when I started this and when I was going and checking the activated mods flip that on I did try the uh, leader ruler level yeah I said that right uh, mod which basically levels up rulers it gives them focuses and stuff they can do but that can't be added to existing saves and also, from past experience, I know that that can really fuck with with uh, New Horizons and make some weird shit happen, so... Although, I may want to do that for a future game, not for this one. Right, so when I left off... Okay, what was that, an hour ago? Two hours ago? It's 6 p.m. now. I think I stopped around 3. I went on a 20 minute run. I showered. I shaved. I ate. I lost track of time watching some shit on Twitch. Um, might be like two or three hours. So I don't know how long I'm gonna go tonight. <laughs> okay, this still happened. This happened in the test too. Um, maybe, maybe two hours. Four hours might be pushing it, but maybe we'll see. Because I've already gone for four hours tonight. So, hello, Rigelians. Welcome to my protectorate. And as our 
tech buildings start finishing and more and more people start getting into pumping us full of uh, tech points, complete. we're going to have more and more small empires potentially wanting to be our protectorate. That is a part of why I wanted to pump up the difficulty as well, is I know I'm very, very close to a positive feedback loop where we start just booming out of control and getting to a point where even large empires might like like the fucking Orions would offer to become our vassal or protectorate which is fine if it's kept in check and I want there to be a check to make someone else at least one other person powerful and right now it's looking like the Klingons will well, maybe be that one, but the Klingons have had the Klingon Federation split off, Confederation, the Klingon Trade Union. Uh, oh, I'm hoping this this pumps some gas into their tank. No, they're inferior, inferior, and pathetic now. All right, all right. Well, we're full of money, so time to stop off at the alloy store. Oh Jesus, Earth can have every building now. Um, I don't want to plan that far forward. I'm gonna still develop Earth reactively rather than proactively. And later I can come back and do a mass redesign of our planets, but it's, it's fine for now. Just flipping through, making sure... Yeah, making sure everywhere that needs a... <laughs> needs something built, has something built. Those that don't are looking balanced. Okay, I'm happy to have this regional academy, but I should not have built it because I need an entertainment center, so we're swapping that out. You have an entertainment center? You do, you do, you're good. Once we wrap our way back around to Earth, I can stop looking at this. Alternative, we, by the time I get back around to Earth, the situation might have changed drastically enough that I need to go take a second look. Um, you... You need a mine, actually, not just police. You need a mine. That's a small Technology oversight on my part. Discovered. Yo! I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. Exciting new technology. Probably not that exciting. Click, 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 click. Great, okay. Still colonizing one planet. Ah, uh, yeah, the Tellarite Cruiser. I'm pretty sure, and by pretty sure I mean I know for a fact because I just did this. Uh, it's very similar to the Andorian Cruiser in that it improves shield hit points. But, again, its damage output isn't super remarkable. Well, you know, the Andorian Cruiser, complete. compared to the Explorer 3, less hull points, less armor, less shields. A much higher evasion, obviously, because of the way I built it. Though, Explorer 3 could have some more evasion strapped onto it. Slower, but it does more damage. Yeah, yeah. These are, these are interesting. I don't really know, like, in tier levels, how they fit in, because it doesn't feel like they do fit in. <laughs> They're cool. They're just weird. Maybe early on, uh, if I had focused on getting them, they'd be particularly valuable. But not now. Not now. Alright, you're suspicious of me. Uh, that's a problem. Don't I have both of my fucking people here improving relations with you? Wow. Yeah, because I'm allied with your rivals. So I need to integrate the Benzarian and the uh, Zinti pretty quickly. Well, I'm already working on the Benzarian. We'll get to the Zinti. We'll get there. Now, in the meantime, let's minimize the sector map. I'm building star bases. Yes, I'm building a number of star bases along Klingon border. Is it just the Klingon border that I'm doing? Yeah, Beta Leonis, Idi Leonis, Iota Leonis. Yeah. Nice naming convention. Let's take a look to see if anyone is. <laughs> Hold up. Technology. Hold up. This is a problem. You don't have a name.
Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Oh. Alright, what, what, what do we got for a name here? Uh, the... Ellis Empire? Sure, you know, whatever. We don't need to be creative here. Yeah, I know, I know I'm going <laughs> deaf or mute every time I hit Matilda. That's okay. Fortress World is finished. Bullion, we get broken their commerce pact. That's unsurprising. Given that they uh, are obviously not our biggest fan right now. Jerks. Oh, right. I was, I was going to check the contacts, not to make sure everyone had a name, though now that I'm at it. I want to make sure everyone has a name. They seem to. They seem to. Okay, no one is meeting the requirements of being relatively pa powerful. I think this got reshuffled because someone new popped in. The Herogen... Oh. The Herogen are the closest thing. They have equivalent fleet power, but their economy and technology suck. God, and everyone else is pathetic. Inferior, inferior, pathetic, inferior, pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Yeah, okay, good. Good. I'm, I'm glad I got this mod because they need help. <laughs> they all desperately need help. Not for a while there, but... I mean, we, we are on a fucking roll. And I need, I need someone to come along and slow my roll. Ooh, Robert didn't get there in time. Sorry, Robert. Um... Let's look at planets. Where do I want to stick you? Uh, size 21. Size 22. One, so 22 is still the highest. 22 is still the highest. I know I have Altair. I already have someone on Altair. Technology discovered. Looks like uh, and Earth is a 22, and I already obviously have somebody on there, so Gamma Eridani Prime. Oh, or we can do this. Long updated. Question is, will you get there in time? Uh, Oksana, you're on that one, and then we'll just send you back there. Whoa, I already forgot where it was. It was... <laughs> Gamma... Gamma Iridani Prime. 22G Iridani Prime. Great name. Very memorable. I'll name my kid G2. <laughs> there we go. 28G Iridani Prime. There we go. You'll go here. It's, it's in the neighborhood? Ish? I don't know. We're, we're definitely starting to see... See some issues with being so big. Which is good, we should be. Got AI controls, sweet. Backup warp coils. Improves warp speed, and honestly I was just complaining about that, so maybe maybe I should look into that. Yeah, the Bullion League are breaking all relations with us, and Kathy took a couple of systems. Oh. You're hostile. Openly hostile now. Um, our relations are improving because I'm improving relations, but best I can probably hope for is... No! 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 We are not declaring war on the Bullions. <laughs> Fuck off. But they broke our treaties. Yeah, that's okay. I can get them back peacefully. It'll just take a long time. So I want to integrate these two fucking troublemakers. Uh, so I should be holding on to our influence, which means I won't be expanding into the core any more than I already have, probably. I mean, I say that, but at the same time, I really do... God, I want more influence. <laughs> Help. 
Oh, if you want more influence, Alex, you gotta make your factions happier. And that's not happening. That is not happening. Well... I say that, that's not true. That is sort of possible. It's sort of possible... Ooh, there's a Bajoran wormhole. It's sort of possible in that I can adopt preservation, frontier, diversity, discovery, and that should be enough to make them happy. I don't have to finish the idea group. Or the uh, tradition tree. I don't think I'll do that though. I think I'm gonna go down harmony because that'll increase influence by one uh, every month and that'll be nice and then fuck knows what I'm doing with this. Bajoran wormhole? This is a threat to us all? No, it's intriguing. It's fine. Uh, God, God bless the Bajorans. Where does this come out? It is super early for the Bajoran wormhole, for sure. Idrin? Yeah, the Idrin system. Okay, that makes sense. That's fitting. The Dominion should extend to here, <laughs> but they're, uh, they're going east. Hey, I'm happy they're expanding it all. Doesn't matter where they're going, so long as they're going. Yeah, it's so weird that they're Vulcan Eye Command. That is so strange. Uh, Sulvan have opened their borders? Construction Why? Complete. I mean, cool. Construction complete. Oh no, it wasn't the Sulvan Cabal, it was the Sulvan Combine. <laughs> They're like, falling the fuck apart, and I don't know why. Construction it's, it's a little concerning. Like, why are you having so many rebel problems? What the fuck? Hopefully, uh... Hopefully this mod I just installed will help will help them hold together a little bit better. Or at least Survey. be able to retake things a little bit easier. So right now it's uh it's a little rough watching everybody else fall apart as I cascade out of control. But yeah, I definitely plan to never activate either of these relics ever again, because they give They give advantages that just are not good. Are not good. Are those spaceports done? They are. They are in fact. Okay. What do I want here? See, armor plating improves armor hit points of the starbase, but the energy weapon array doesn't actually seem to improve its functionality at all. Like this improves the ship range, this gives you more <laughs> weapon range. Yeah, ship weapon range, it doesn't even affect you. Again, you can really armor up the uh, star bases, but I'm not seeing a way to improve their offensive capability. But that's okay, we will Slap on an active armor plating layer. Give them some armor plating. These uh, these are hardened station whose uh, the station's objectives are ultimately just to hold the line until my fleet can get here. Now, I know that's not a very optimistic objective, but uh, you know, do we have open borders? Doesn't seem like we have closed borders. Can I go here? I cannot. Alright, fair enough. Like, legit, very fair. But, <laughs> slightly disappointing. Hmm. I'm even considering armoring these up. I mean, I'll probably want to get these. Let's wait. Let's wait. I'm not, like, maxed out on alloys, so not a problem. Orion. Yeah, I recall you being disloyal. What's your fucking deal? Uh, Liberator is slowly decaying, and the relative power of subjects. Yeah, this starts being a problem at a Special certain point. Project complete. What? 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 
What? I don't recall sending anyone to deal with this. Oh, okay, yeah, this this was the <laughs> Yes I do. This was the uh the oh my god. This distress signal. This was the distress signal. Arriving at Tahapo What a name. Q, the source of the distress call appears to be the aperture of a small wormhole. Attempts have been made with the or originating vessel are hampered by extreme Vertiron interference. Worse, the wormhole itself is half a meter in diameter, preventing even a shuttle from traversing it to its indeterminable exit point. Wormhole experts aboard the USS series believe a polarized Vertiron beam might be configurable in such a way to allow the wormhole to be stabilized enough to initiate communications, but cannot guarantee that the technique will be perfected before the wormhole disappears. Long updated. Let's fucking try. Um, you, you need um an entertainment center. You need an entertainment Special center. Project Battery. Complete. Distress call. Stabilizing the micro wormhole with a ver polarized vertiron beam. The interference has been reduced to the point that two-way communications are possible. The stress call itself contains li very little information because the beyond a request for confirmation of the location of the wormhole exit point and that the vessel on the other side is stranded in the Delta Quadrant. <laughs> Hello, Voyager. Um, suspicious on the USS series, but high. Few believing a wormhole this size could be capable of bridging the 70,000 or so light years in the Delta Quadrant. Captain Locks on a, uh, yeah, you passively study the signal source or attempt to make contact. Yeah, obviously attempt to make contact. <laughs> Shit, seriously, the Voyager? In uh, 2228, this is a little early for Janeway. Uh, Two-way communications. Oh wait, no, this is right. Ah, this is this is correct uh, because Janeway accidentally travels back in time. Um, I forgot about this. It's supposed to happen to the Romulans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two-way communications have been established with the vessel on the other side of the wormhole. The vessel has identified itself as USS Voyager. Starfleet vessel transported against its will until the Delta Quadrant several weeks prior and captained by an alien female named Janeway. I mean, she's human, but whatever. Intelligence reports seem to unable to confirm the existence of the vessel's loss, but so far the evidence does seem compelling that the ship is indeed in the Delta Quadrant. After several hours of dialogue, Janeway proposes two crews initiate transport through the wormhole. Absolutely. Attempt to transport. We fucking with time. After a number of bio cylinders were tricked, the successfully materialized. Yeah, we're just point by point of the episode. Cool. I haven't seen this one before. Technology aboard the Voyager is awe inspiring. Uh. Aboard the Voyager is awe inspiring. Loxana Kav begins to question how unprepared the United Federation of Planets would be if <laughs> should ever come into contact with Starfleet. Uh, I, I got something to tell you. Set a bit of short lived, however, as a passive quantum dating scan reveals Voyager's frame reference is in fact half a century ahead of Loxana Kav's. Disappointed that the possibility of returning to their homes by way of transporting to the USS series is now out of question. Janeway makes a final appeal to inform Starfleet of their status when the appropriate amount of time has passed. Before returning Loxana Kav back to the USS series, I can attempt to hijack the ship, uh, say it's of no concern, or convey the message. In 50 years... 50 years still isn't enough time. But Janeway, Janeway isn't born for... Uh... Birth. Right, I, I should just have the fucking Star Trek timeline. <laughs> Wiki page for the Star Trek timeline up here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What? It is the 23rd century, right? Uh, Leonard McCoy was just born last year. Let's let's look. Uh, Jane Way. Jane Way will be born in 2336. So, a hundred fucking years. Yeah, I think 50 years is not going to be... Sure, I'll convey the message. Why not? 
You got it, boss. I'll convey the message to me. Herogen are attacking the Devor. At least it's someone besides the poor fucking Borg. We are the Borg. The collective must grow. Hey! Technology power is equivalent. Economy is equivalent. You're, you're surviving, my god! Alright, we're holding on to influence so I can eat you and eat you. Once we do that, we're gonna <laughs> stabilize our relations with the Bolians. And it's great, we'll add them to the Federation. Yeah, yeah, okay. Gotta love internal politics. In the meantime, I can't really expand our borders, which is totally okay with me, with exception to the few systems I wanted to grab here. But that's okay, we don't need it. We don't need it, I just want it. You know, we're, we're pumping out 30 Duranium plates a month. This is only giving us two. Let's ditch it. Goodbye, Reedy system. Oh, yep. Can't have that anymore. Uh, I guess go idle here. It's the off chance I can get that. You know, 100 dilithium a month, I don't need this. Uh, this will cut us down to 85, which is unfortunate, but again, I gotta. I really need to take an aggressive approach to countering our empire sprawl. All right, amenity usage dropped by 10%. That's actually pretty substantial. We'll see at the end of the month how much of a change that makes. Harmony will produce population pop demotion time, which is actually a big deal. What kind of ascension perk do I want? World shaper? Absolutely not. Nope. Nah. No. No. You know, Interstellar Dominion's actually tempting, but no. Grasp the Void, nah. Space Fortress, nah. Starbase Expansion, eh, maybe. Galactic Contender, M maybe. Honestly, I might do magic to make the sanest man go mad. Some better tech. More unity would be okay. Governing, ah, uh, governing ethics attraction might actually be it. Or Imperial Prerogative. Imperial Prerogative helps address our Empire Sprawl problem, which is a significant problem. Uh, one vision would help produce more influence by getting more people to drift toward our, um, our ethics. I'll probably go Imperial Prerogative, actually. Shared Destiny is tempting, because it will make my subjects trust me more and be less rebellious, but I, I can deal with that. Yeah, I'm probably going for the admin cap. Not not the most incredible next steps, but it hit something. Uh, who died? Who just died? Envoy who has broken out. Who shrunk? I don't recognize you. You were a science ship operator. Nope. <laughs> no, you weren't. Um You were in pajamas. Yeah. I recall. Who did I lose? Was it a governor, perhaps? Hold up. Everything is fine here? I'm not even making power here? What the hell? What? <laughs> Am I okay? <laughs> I built something besides a fusion reactor? I must be sick. Okay, y'all need some of that civilian industrial center. Up, up, up. I'm not seeing a dead governor. I don't know what they did. I have no idea who this person is that just died. I should feel bad about that, but I actually just find it funny. Survey complete. A lot of people declaring people rivals. Great. Let's see some wars. Rokari Third Imperium declared war on the Wadi Estates. Sure. Zol Technocracy just humiliated the Krenim. Okay. Not the most exciting thing. So it doesn't look like they were a governor. What the fuck did you do? Who were you? Who were you, magic man? Where did you go? Okay, well, 
I guess that's fine. Oh, it was an envoy! It was an envoy, right, okay. I care very little about the envoys because they're not in here. And I can't I can't replace them. They just get automatically replaced. Yeah. I may not need to restrict this anymore. I'm not seeing... I, I don't recall seeing any aggressive ships there. I think they might have gotten cleared out. Better Andorian Pacers? Sure. Will I use them? No. Is it nice to have the tech? Yes, because every tech I have makes the people around me think that I'm stronger than I am. It's very important to uh, inform public opinion that way. Man, somebody should really be commanding the Enterprise. Uh, T'Pol? T'Pol might be it. Heroic Admiral? These other two... No, those other two don't fit very well. Noonian Soong has weapon damage, ship upkeep, daily hull regen, but he's so good at researching. And honestly, I don't need anyone here right now. I don't... What? Oh, they're maimed. I thought... God, I thought it was the, uh... AI controlled thing again. I'm like, no, not again. Uh, Erica, step off for a second. We can actually assign someone here. Who do I want? Mark Genius, Expertise, New World, and you are Delton? Hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Yeah, you're getting assigned there. I gotta sign somebody else to the Goddard? Is that the name of it? I'm assuming it's you. Pardon you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So it's looking like. To Paul's really tempting. Uh, Nuni and Soong would be pretty great. Heroic Engineer is incredible. But. No. Uh, this is just too fucking good. I gotta keep him doing what he's doing. Da, 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 da. Then we have ship weapon range, and yeah, I think Robert's really built for this. Robert April is really built for this, because Heroic Admiral... Mm. Nah, let's give it to Philippa. I like her more. <laughs> Honestly, that's what it boils down to. I like her more. I think she's cooler. I'm more of a fan of her. Okay, in the meantime, Scon can take over her duties here. And you can, I don't know, go, go to Alpha Centauri B and assist research here. Are they even researching here? Yeah, sure they are. Go, go, go over there. Do what? I don't care. Just not here. Not here. Ah, okay. Man, am I in focus? No. Slightly no. Oh my god, that's better. I, I'm like, man, I look really soft. I shaved, but it's not it's not that much. It shouldn't make me look that much softer. I'm like, ah, well, that would have something to do with it. The Iridian Diaspora has ended. No, don't end your rivalries. More fighting. <laughs> Please. I need some big contenders out here. Ah, the Interspecies Medical Exchange. This, I recall, being a very spammy event, and I hope it is not. It gives us 5% social research production in exchange for 5 energy credits. It's insanely good. We will absolutely join the Interspecies Medical Exchange. Though the Interspecies Medical Exchange is dated to exist at the beginning. So, a little weird. Oh, right! I can loan you a doctor! In exchange for influence, right? Right. I forgot about this. Yeah, you can have skull. This is how we get. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, I I remember this. We mill. We mill energy into influence by way of recruiting doctors. I remember this shit now. Ah, uh, yeah. This is very weird. 
but because I can just contact the interspecies medical exchange at any given time, I can always send them more people, which means influence just comes down to a matter of how patient I'm feeling. For example, not a doctor, not a doctor, not a doctor, doctor. Okay, easy. So we spent, I mean, close to 3,000 energy on what amounts to 50 inputs. Is that worth it? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's worth it. Because I have no other way to get it, and I have so much energy. So, yep, I'm just going to keep milling uh, scientists. Sorry, not sorry. Give me a doctor. Give me a doctor. Give me a doctor. 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 And if we can't find one, that's fine. Doctor. Ooh, you're cheap, yes. Okay, well, this is a fun way to find people with Spark of Genius as well. I will keep the geniuses. I will replace other people who are not geniuses with a genius, absolutely. Hope that you pick up some stuff as you level up and you become better. But hey, even if not, glad to have you. Fatecraft. Okay, well, you know. What if... Doctor, though. Yes! Doctor! Hell yes! All right. Goodbye, my friend. You're off to join the Interspecies Medical Exchange. <laughs> Very important, me. All right. Uh, we're, we're out of energy. I cannot mill for any more doctors right now. But we just doubled our amount of influence. Effectively, that's, that's incredible. That really is incredible. Oh, I love it. Okay, yeah, uh, this is research there, which means I can grab one of these bullshit systems if I want to, right? <laughs> it's expensive, but yes, I absolutely can. Uh, Denison, how much would this cost? Ooh, a lot, a lot. Okay, we'll just grab this one and be happy. Survey complete. That means if we get to a point where I can't integrate someone, because I don't have enough influence, we can pause, we can start selling off other things for energy, then start recruiting people with the energy until I get enough doctors that I can then exchange for influence. I... It's a weird system. I feel like they should have put a timer on it, or a restriction that you can only send, like, one doctor per, like, year or ten years or whatever, just to slow it down. But this is, this is one of my favorite mechanics to abuse in the spot. I completely forgot about this. Physiology! Researchers are slowly coming to the startling conclusion concerning the D. Darsare people themselves. They were, that's a hell of a word, poikilothermic, meaning their bodies and mental states were highly influenced by fluctuate, <laughs> fluctuation in temperature. This could explain their obsession with the sun or why Mascara, their sun goddess, was highly tied with times of brute actions, sacrifice, and war. We have arrived at this conclusion from a careful study of their holographic records of their former cities. It's clear that heat management was paramount. Stone buildings designed con to convey heat upward, large open flowing chambers meant to carefully distribute heat and sunlight, and drastic distinction between the airy and cool chambers of Corgano and the suffocating fortresses of Masca also now makes sense. The very architecture of the buildings and the way they channeled heat would shape the behavior of everyone in the building. Neat! That, that actually is conceptually very neat. <clears throat> Where are you going? No orders. Oh, they're just set to follow. Okay, yeah. yeah. How much? Yeah, you're insanely cheap to upgrade. Let's, let's make sure you're... Actually, up to date Nimitz. Tunneling phaser is 8.8. .8. Good, good. Then, um, what do we have here? Hole breach? No, these are pulse phaser bank type 2. 9.6. Uh, hole breaching phasers are way better. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yup, yup, yup. Photon torpedoes, 8.78. Versus medium fusion torpedoes. Okay, what is the difference here? Fusion torpedoes, 20 to 70, cooldown to 4. This does more damage, lower cooldown, accuracy at 85. So photons are more accurate. Have much better tracking. Lower range, though. Interesting. I'm going to go with photon torpedoes. I'm going to keep those. Heavy cruiser is still, yep, and science quarters is, yep, okay. Don't have anything better than inertial dampers. Still nothing better than hardened shields. Okay, and then crew bunks is still what I want from here, right? Yep, yep, absolutely. That can't upgrade. Um, ooh. Oh, that's tempting. It's really tempting to go with an AI complement here to boost evasion by fucking 15%. That's that's 10% on here. That's very good. Or I can do cybernetic crew and boost our damage by yeah, six, but hey, it's something. Hmm. Hmm. Artificial intelligence controls a large proportion of the vessel, reducing the need for a crew. Listen, like, I know it's a bad idea, but also, like... It's a cool one. <laughs> Backup war coils? No. I'm gonna do that. Maybe it ends poorly. It probably ends poorly. That's okay. That's okay. I'm I'm willing to take the risk. <laughs> Cause that dodge, that's all you have to do is promise me better evasion and I will make stupid decisions. Man, the Sona have had a ton of rebels. I mean not even all of them are progressive. Some are just more authoritarian. Or, well, I mean, these are peaceful. This is a theocratic dictatorship. Very strange. I've never had a system revolt like they have, so I don't really know how the system works. <laughs> I'm not bad, so I've never, <laughs> I've never experienced that. Yeah, that's, that's what I need to say. <sighs> I'm still not producing- oh, I am producing food, however, the uh, Soil Enrichment Center is getting rid of a lot of that, and also we probably- yeah, we're not maxed out on farmers. That is fair. That is very fair. Construction complete. New phone, who dis? Oh! Yeah. Great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't want any of these <laughs> anymore. I, I got what I wanted, which is... Mm, what, like two-thirds of the Omega Molecule production in the galaxy? I want all of it, but I'll take two-thirds. And once you're done, go idle in Denison. Or Denson. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice to be able to buy influence. It's slow going, but that's that's okay. That is incredibly cathartic. Uh, okay, you know what? We're maxed out on chemocyte, topoline, and magnesite. Let's buy down to a thousand of each. Never mind, that's enough. And... <laughs> we're off to the races. Give me a doctor. Give me a doctor. How about a doctor? I like doctors. Okay, well, they're not a doctor, but they are a genius, so they're gonna replace somebody. Until I just have a fleet of fucking geniuses out there doing menial work. Uh, Loxana? Hold on, let's just go bottom to top. Give her a running chance. Hey, May? I'm sorry? It's time for you to retire. 
Yes, I know. I know you're very experienced and very well respected in your field. 95 years old. You've earned retirement at this point. Give me a doctor. Not a maniac. Or maniacal. Not good enough. Doctor. Doctor. Starts with a D and then an er. Doctor. Doctor. Fortunately, the uh, resources I have are limited, and I literally can't do this forever. I welcome that limitation. Oh wow, we're already out of energy. The uh, a contributing factor to why these are so fucking expensive is again Empire Sprawl. Leader cost is insanely high right now. It's just absurdly high. As is leader upkeep. Okay, well, we'll sell off that. Am I maxed out on Tolonian Crystal, too? Sure am. Oh, okay. And now we'll let it coast. I didn't get a single doctor. <laughs> 15,000 energy, and not a single doctor. Can't win them all. Or ever, sometimes. at our contact log. I'm waiting for... Ooh, the Herogen are now at equivalent. This, this is actually exciting. The mod's working. Okay. Their fleet power, economy power, and overall power is equivalent, so... They won't, um... Technology discovered. They won't get an increase in the bonuses they have, but the... It will stop increasing the overall bonuses. So the game is convinced that they are competitive now. They probably aren't, but they are way more competitive than they were. Hmm. Garth of Izar. Construction complete. Oh, well, we just lost Erika von Gebser. Garth von... Hold on. Garth, what the hell are you? An admiral. Okay. Show me what you Garth. You know, he's not bad. Uh, scout. Sublight speed's good. Uh, I like unyielding. Yeah, you are... Well, not amazing, but I'll keep you on board, absolutely. Alright, well, Erica, you're gone. I'll go ahead and rename something after you, because why not? I'm not a heartless monster. But I... I'll be honest, Erica. You were forgettable. You... You were an unimportant cog in the machine. And I don't want to uh, mislead you any other way. Oh, yeah, okay. Assist Alpha Centauri, that's what you were doing? Yeah. Like, there's not much left to survey out here. Except the systems I've abandoned. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we've discovered all the houses. Great, 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 great. Give you a better chance. Give you a bigger stick, maybe. It's a weird line. It's a very weird line. But alright. Sure. Give me a bigger stick. You need food. You got food. Pergium deposits. Yeah, no, that's not happening. No, no, no. 
Yeah, it's a little silly that... I mean, we're getting Empire Sprawl a little more under control, but I am planning on integrating Benzarians, which is going to raise it, and then the Zenti, which is really going to raise it, and then the Orions, which is really going to raise it. Survey but that's, uh, that's why we have people actually doing science on a lot of our planets. Oh, hell yeah, but we go. Where that? Where it at? Where it at? Where it at? Uh, send a scientist. Log updated. Where is it? Can I actually get there this time? Dude, totally achievable. Totally achievable. So, I can't research this with the NX, right? You're uh, not in a... No, I've been told before that the capital ship is unable to do this. So, you know what? I've, I've, been, I've been hurt before. Philippa, you stay there. Let's give... Yeah, Flippa control of that. Flippa can go there. The NX is now under the command of Japan. Nice. Ships upgraded. Dope. I got my AI controlled ships. Definitely won't have a problem with this. Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't a problem waiting to happen. <laughs> At all. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Technology discovered. Pergium is the only thing I'm not producing right now, and I could be producing it. I just don't want to tank a planet that much right now. Mining station and research station build speed. Yeah, there was a time where that would have been kind of useful. That time is not now. So sure, torpedo launch battery. Sure. And sorry, and Commonwealth are at 54%. High intensity. Let's let's get this over with. Let's integrate one of the problem children. Hey, you're receptive? Oh, dude, sweet. Why? Why are you suddenly receptive? What's the problem? Well, what, what happened here? Um, I guess we've just been improving relations so damn much. Okay, awesome. Don't look the gift horse in the mouth, Alex. Just pump them full of treaties. Give them more reasons to love you. Yeah, we have my allies hate you, you hate my allies, it's a whole deal, but like, what if you just ignored that for a while? Oh, the brain just humiliated the Ferengi. Yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> take something? No, we're just here to make you feel bad about yourself and remind you that we can take anything we want at any time, and there's nothing you can do about it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Confederacy of Sherman's Planet. Where the fuck is this? Oh, down here. Jesus. The Sonar are doing a terrible job. A terrible job at maintaining control. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to see them fail. I just don't know why I'm seeing them fail. Okay, let's... Alright, well, that's a good start. <laughs> Let's find some... Let's find some doctors. Because I am full up on dilithium, so I want to swap out our dilithium for energy credits. But our energy credits would go over 15,000 and we lose about a thousand that way, so I'm going to deplete energy. And then... Nah. And then I will sell the excess dilithium back. Give me a doctor. Give me a doctor. <laughs> Just something, something, doctor. D. Doctor. Doctor. Yes, okay. You? No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. 
Oh, I have two doctors. Fuck, I forgot I got a doctor the last time. Well, surprise doctor. Always a good thing. Get him out of here. Don't want him. Yeah, you know, they help... They help keep us healthy and, uh... Yada yada, but... Yeah, get him out of here. They'll do better work there than they will as... <gasps> Another one! Double doctor all the way! Double doctor across the sky. Last chance for a doctor? No doctor. What does it mean? A hey, interspecies medical exchange? I got a doctor for you. <laughs> Hell yeah, okay. Okay, so now we have enough influence to uh, justify eating up one of these small areas. I mean, I guess. Does it justify it, or will I use it, in it as an excuse? Special project complete. A little bit of A, we'll, we'll call him A, we'll call him B. Send Expedition 1 into deep space. Send Expedition 2 to journey into uncharted space. Commission Expedition 3 to head to new territories. I get... I don't know. Let's send you into deep space. Why not? I can't tell if they do the same thing or not. I'm hoping that they don't do the same thing. I guess I'll find out. Now, I can try to convert some of these in order to in order to reduce our empire sprawl. I could get rid of these systems that have natives in them by welcoming them with Federation membership. However, and I won't unclick, this will cost one influence per month until this is over, and that that's gonna eat away at our influence terribly, terribly, terribly. I can probably mill enough doctors to make up for it, but oh my god, Alex. Remember when I said I was gonna sell Dilithium to make up for uh, hiring doctors? Well, apparently I lied. I didn't intend to lie, but I did it anyway. I like this. I don't need it. I really don't need it. I'm not using the Omega Molecule, and if I recall, it's dangerous to use anyway. Arcadian and Harmony have become militarists. Ah. The galaxy quakes in fear. War with the Devore. Taken a couple of things here. They've taken something here. The Borg are. We are the Borg. Yeah, they're up to equivalent in tech. Okay, this mod is working, and I'm I'm so happy. I'm so happy that it's working. It it's such a quiet thing, uh, rebalancing power, but oh my god, it's it is fantastic. Oh yeah, Jevonite. Jevonite. You need to switch over to Civilian Industrial Center, because we don't have one for some reason. Y'all are good. Survey complete. Ish. You need Civilian Industrial Center. <laughs> you need, like, anything. Uh, another Heritage Museum. That's definitely what you need. What are these called? Yeah, just heritage. I just said what it was and immediately forgot what it was called. Brain's working real well today, Alex. Brain works well every day. Uh, you have unemployment. Really? Okay. What do I need? Yeah, we are depleting our... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Platinum. We're only making two platinum a month. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> that's that's bad. 
I can't get a new research facility? That really sucks that I can only have one on Earth. Because, okay, I want to see what an administration center does because it looks like it doesn't... Uh, it looks like it doesn't do what I want it to do, so maybe not. Let's see, uh, Starfleet Medical, Embassy Complex does. So I have, I'm looking for the right fucking icon. You make it so that Embassy Complexes also improve administrative capacity by five. Ambassadors improve it by five. So okay, if I go to population, look for ambassador. Okay, Ambassador supposedly improves it by 5, but I don't see that anywhere on here. At all. Trade value, upkeep, yeah, but not... Hmm. Sure, let's try an administration center. Worst case, I'm building a building that isn't very good. Best case scenario, it actually does help with Empire Sprawl, but it's not labeled that way. I can live with that. I can live with not realizing something because it wasn't labeled. Well, it's been an hour. I'm feeling good about this. I'm hopeful about this uh, this dynamic balance mod. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm I'm very hopeful, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put in a cut here. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm gonna keep streaming for I, I don't know another hour probably. Construction. Maybe complete. more. I don't know. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, though, this is it for today. Until tomorrow, let's say toodaloo. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.